Hi everyone, it's Paul from PS Productions. And what I wanted to do is just go over the different features in our two follow focuses that we're currently offering. Now, we have our PS Productions standard follow focus that comes with our rigs. Uh, this is the one you get. Uh, it's with, our, with all of our rigs that you order a uh, follow focus with. Or, you now have the option to upgrade to a FACA DP502 file focus. And I'm going to point out the differences to you. Now there's a lot of very similar things and that's why we love the standard file focus because for the price you're getting a lot of features that you see in much higher end file focuses like this DP502. Now let me just point out some of the things that we looked for in a file focus for this year's rigs that we were coming out with. Um, we used to carry this one right here, uh, which was the defocus. And we like the defocus, and I'm not here to beat up the guys at defocus, um, but we stopped carrying it because we just felt that when they came out with their line this year, they just didn't have certain features that we, we were looking for in a, in a new version of follow focuses that are out on the market right now. Uh, this fall focus right here, this, this defocus retails for about $180. And as you can see, uh, it's got all plastic pinion gears inside. It has a, the gearbox is, is open completely. Uh, it does not have a reversible gear. Uh, it, it, well, I don't want to say that it, it can be reversed. Uh, you can take all this off, but it's a little more work to, uh, to take this off and switch it than, than you'll see on. Uh, on both of our versions here that we're currently selling. Um, and also the other thing that I wasn't thrilled with anymore is that it has these the closed mounts which you know if, you ha if you're going to put this on your rig it means you got to take off everything that's in front of it. So if you have a mat box uh, connected here you're going to have to take your mat box off and then slide this on to get it into place. So that was one of the things uh, that we wanted in our new ones that we came out with and our so here's our basic uh, fall focus that comes with with our rigs you'll see here it has hard stops adjustable hard stops so that you can uh, if you're using a lens that doesn't have hard stops on it you won't have to worry about going beyond your infinity marks and messing up any points that you mark on here it's got the standard connections for uh, a speed crank or a whip uh, the one thing we really love is that these uh, gear here can be moved to either side real easily of the gearbox. You just unscrew it and then take the gear off and simply move it to the other side. The thing that's nice about that is if you are using a smaller lens like a 50 millimeter or a 35 millimeter, uh, you don't have to do a whole lot of uh, finagling to uh, get that on there and you can uh, basically just uh, take this and just switch it right to the other side and that'll pop right on it's uh, you just have to line up the, the proper shape it's got like a half moon connection on this style get that on there like that and simply just screw the nice narrowed screw that it has in there back in now it does have a quick connect style uh, I'll show you it here you have to unscrew this it doesn't have that close end style that I showed you on the uh, defocus there, which a lot are going away from. Uh, it's not quite as easy as what you're going to see here in this Fatka, but it still works pretty well. It's uh, just these couple pieces, and you just got to kind of separate them. And when you're putting it on, you know, you can still get it on uh, without having to take everything off. You just kind of maneuver it into place there and then screw it back in. So not real hard, uh, you know, as opposed to having to take everything off. Uh, but it's not quite as easy as what you're going to see here with this, uh, with the FACA that I have here. So um, the other thing it doesn't have that the FACA has, the FACA has an adjustable viewfinder and dampening. Now you can adjust the dampening somewhat uh, on this, uh, but you have to get in here and use an Allen key. Um, you can actually tighten it down so much that it will completely lock this file focus. Uh, we try and keep these kind of medium so they don't have, they, they have very little, as you can see there's really no backlash at all, which is nice. That was the other reason why we liked our standard file focus. 
It does not have an adjustable marker though. As you can see, it's kind of a, a solid uh, metal marker. And you can mark this, uh, uh, your, your stop points up with this, but this isn't movable. And that's one of the very nice features on this Focket is the uh, marker, the view marker is uh, adjustable completely. It can go anywhere on this follow focus. The other major difference between these two follow focuses is on the inside of the gearbox. The standard follow focus is part metal and part plastic pinion gear. The Faka follow focus is an all metal pinion gear. And that's the major difference. And that's the nice thing about the Faka. You can see the finishing you'll just see on here is just a little bit more uh, nicer. It, and it just has some real nice features. Uh, one that I really love is this quick connect. Let me just show you this real quick here. As you can see, it uh, it just pops right on. It's spring loaded. So you just get that fall focus where you need it, pop it in, and then tighten one screw down and it just clamps down and grabs really well and that thing's not going anywhere. Um, one other screw adjustment here and you got it on the rail so you can slide your your follow focus in and out uh, which is also we still have that on the standard one it's also on a little rail and it will too slide in and out it does have the dampening adjustment right down here on the bottom of the follow focus which is viewable here in the front this little screw here you can adjust uh, the tension of your gears by adjusting this screw. It does have a reversible gear uh, just by removing uh, the, the blue screw here in the front. You can easily reverse this to the other side. And it also has a magnetic marking ring. So you can buy extra magnetic marking rings if you want and put them on uh, if you needed to have different marks for like the, the same scene set up. You could just mark a different ring and then put, you know, put that other ring on. This does not have a removable marker ring. As I say before, it, it's part plastic, part metal pinion gear. Um, has a quick connect, just not as easy as this one. Uh, but that, but as you can see, when you compare it to a lot of other uh, follow focuses out there, it really has a lot of great features for the price, and it works really, really well. So you're you know you a lot of people will be perfectly happy with this it's just if you want to take that next step and go to an even nicer higher end fall focus we do have the uh the Faka dp 502s now we will also be featuring very soon a Faka matte box real nice professional matte box with uh that can hold uh four by four filters it can hold up to two of them uh, has a, a it's just a beautiful beautiful uh, map box so be looking for that we're going to be coming out with that too as an upgrade to our current map box that we offer with our rigs thanks for tuning in everybody have a great day